A new shot's been fired in the tablet wars. Google unveiled its Nexus 7 tablet computer at its I.O. Developers Conference in San Francisco. It's only 340 grams, just about the weight of an average paper book. It fits perfectly in one hand. You can put it in a purse or a bag. It doesn't tip over when you're reading or watching a movie in bed. It just feels right. That's Nexus 7. Google's new tablet has a 7-inch screen, the same size as the Kindle Fire, but Google says the Nexus 7 has a richer HD screen and faster graphics, and the price? $199 is the same as the Fire. The Nexus 7 is scheduled to be released in mid-July. Google's new tablet joins what's becoming a rather crowded field. Earlier this month, Microsoft showed off its new Surface tablet. The Surface is a higher-end tablet with prices starting at $499, much closer to the iPad. Microsoft also has plans for a more expensive version of Surface that performs more like a fully-fledged PC. Meanwhile, one of Apple's competitors has just lost a major battle in court. After a lawsuit from Apple, a judge has ruled that Samsung cannot sell its Galaxy Tab 10.1 in the United States. Apple says the tab looks and feels too much like the iPad. Despite the competition, research firm IDC says the iPad remains the top-selling tablet with 62% of the market. Google's Android tablets are second with 36%. Google also showed off what could be the next portable computing battleground, eyeglasses. Check this out. We have a special surprise for you. We've got something pretty special for you. Who wants to see a demo of glass? So we've been really excited to test it for a few months. The unit I actually really want to show you, uh, I lent to a friend, and, and he's going to be here momentarily. He's actually pretty close by. He's just about a mile overhead right now with his buddies. Um, they have a few glass units. Maybe they'll bring them down. And they're off. Yeah. All right, and they're flying. Look at that. Look at that. All right. And they're coming in. All right. Yeah. Hey, so the roof is a little bit big there, so uh, it would take a while to run down the length of it. So we got actually a few bikers up there for this eventuality. Um, we got them wearing glass, too. Here are the bikers. Yeah. And you know, there's only one good way down the side of a building. Pretty high up there if you haven't been up there before. Don't try this at home, kids. These are trained professionals. We got a couple more bikes. It's a little bit of a long way. I apologize. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. And the crowd roared. And that was a look at Google's virtual reality glasses. They have microphones, a speaker, a camera, wireless radios and sensors, and they're said to be aware of their location in the world. They're still in development, but Google co-founder Sergey Brin announced that people attending the conference could pre-order those glasses. He says they'll start shipping next year with a price tag of $1,500.